Okay, I'm going to show you real quick how to turn a PowerPoint show into an iSpring presentation for Blackboard. So to begin, we're going to open up the PowerPoint show, which I have saved on my desktop. You'll notice that the extension ends in .ppsx. And I'm going to go ahead and open that up. And it's going to take a minute or two, so I'm going to pause this while it opens. Okay, so I had it paused for a while there, but now everything is open. And if I try to go to iSpring now and publish, and I'm just going to click Quick Publish, I just wanted to show you, you're going to get a pop-up saying uh, iSpring doesn't support read-only presentations. Okay, th that's fine. All we have to do is we're going to go to File, Save As, and instead of a PPSX, instead of a PowerPoint show, we're going to select just a normal PowerPoint presentation, a PPTX and then click save and I'm just going to put it right on my desktop again so I'm going to click save and this may take a minute as well because there's a lot of information I'm going to hit pause okay and now it's finished saving so with that done we're just going to continue with our normal steps we're going to click uh, publish this name looks good for the presentation title I don't want it to save in my documents folder so I'm just going to browse to my desktop and click OK so I know where to find it. Um, we don't need SCORM. We would like to start the presentation automatically and advance the animations on a mouse click. With all of that done, I'm going to click Publish. And this will take probably a good 5 or 10 minutes. So you can go on and do your own thing. I'm going to click Pause just to kind of speed up this video if you're watching it at home. Okay, it's still recording, but it looks like it's almost done here. And then once this is done, I'm going to show you the next step, which is uploading all of this to Blackboard in the proper way. All right, there we go. So I'm going to close out the preview window here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to minimize this PowerPoint. And I'm now in Blackboard. So I'm going to go into my course. Let me see. And the first thing I want to do is go into the file manager and the reason being is you need to put all of these files in the appropriate learning module on the back end and then you can add it on the front end so we're going to click on file manager we're going to go into our plain modules folder and let's say this is for module one so I'm going to go into module one and I'm going to create a folder and this folder it's going to be the same name as the PowerPoint which was introduction I believe introduction and I'm going to click OK. And now I need to go into this folder that's going to hold all my PowerPoint files and select Get Files. And I save this all on my desktop. So I'm going to go to my desktop, Human Development Across the Lifespan, and I'm going to select all three of these files. They're all three important for what I'm going to be doing and clicking Open. and this may take just a bit and now we're finished. Now we can test this on the back end to make sure it's working by selecting index.html and everything comes up just like it should so I'm going to close this out and now the next step is to add this into the learning module now. So this is on the back end we need to get to the front end. To do that we're going to click on build click on learning modules and select module 1 now we've already update we've already added our file on the back end so to add it to the front end we're just going to click add file browse for files and we're going to be in class files and you'll notice the same folder structure here it's going to be plain modules folder module 1 here's my introduction folder and I'm going to select the index.html so make sure you select the index.html and click OK. So now our PowerPoint is inside the learning module and I can again click preview. You can see everything else over here and you can see the PowerPoint playing over here. Students can change just by selecting some of these side items and it will change on the fly for them. So I'm going to close this out and this concludes this tutorial.